What's up, guys? We're back here in Brave XVS, Final Fantasy Brave XVS. And this is kind of going to be goodbye, guys, because Fire Emblem Heroes, as you can see here, has taken up all of my mobile free time. To me, Fire Emblem Heroes is just a way better game overall. It's fresher, it's newer, it's got so much more going for it right now. The release was amazing. I love Nintendo games, I love Fire Emblem. I've played a lot of Fire Emblem games. So, with that being said, we'll do our farewells here, our final summons, or looking at the summons. So, Secret of Mana, Banner. Again, as a free-to-play player, if you are thinking about Secret of Mana, Banner, because we didn't do a review on this before, so we're going to do a quick one here, there's nothing really to be excited about, because the only great unit here is Randy. Randy is an amazing unit, one of the strongest units in the game with future enhancements, but... It's five star. So this is part of the reason why I like Fire Emblem Heroes. The featured unit here, Randy, you're going to get him around 1% chance when you summon. So a 1% chance. Whereas in Fire Emblem Heroes, you've got a 6% chance to get a five star unit. Yes, it may not be the exact featured one, but the featured five star units are roughly around 2 to 3%. Depending on which color, you can even just kind of personalize which kind of hero you want to get. It's just overall, the the summoning, the gotcha system in Fire Emblem Heroes is so much better than Brave XVS. And I know a lot of Brave XVS players are actually migrating over and playing. You know, even Ziz went over there and just summoned a whole shitload. And so many people have just joined on the hype train of Fire Emblem Heroes because it's a good game, guys. It's a really, really good game. Other than that, in this Secret of Mana Banner Prim, and uh, Poopy don't really have too much going for him. Poopy is a 5-star max, which is garbage now. You don't want any 5-star max. Uh, Prim is decent and has so decent trust mastery, but other than that, nothing else really stands out about her. The whole reason that you'd want any of these units right here as a free-to-play player would be to get the bonus in the currency. But the event is fairly simple and easy. I've done a few uh, runs through the event. And I don't think you're going to have any currency issues. There's nothing like you must get in the event either. There's nothing like, oh my god, this is amazing limited time weapon or armor that you must get. It's pretty much your standard stuff. So let's go on to the next banner here. The Valentine's Day banner. And once again, this is the final free-to-play preview. Should you pull review on banners? Probably one of the last... Brave XVS videos. I will do videos for Brave XVS every so often, and if they do have the Dragon Quest events, I definitely will be doing videos on those because I actually love Dragon Quest a lot, and those units would bring me back to play for a little bit for those those heroes, those units. So, we have Valentine's Day coming up very, very soon, and the Good news is is that if you don't summon, if you've been like me and you haven't been summoning for a while, you have a lot of summons tickets, you've saved up a lot of lappies, you've got a lot of stuff ready to go. A lot of people are waiting for Orlando, and that's the big unit that should be coming around after maybe this Valentine's summon. So, is it worthwhile to go ahead and use your, your summons tickets or your lappies for these global exclusives or for Maria? Well, Marie is actually a really, really good unit. She's an amazing support unit. She's probably the best support unit in the game, but once again, sadly, a five star. And you don't really want to go and risk everything you have for a 1% chance and for a support unit. That's just not what you want to do. You need a damage dealer. A damage dealer is way better, so save it up. Wait for Orlando. Now... Cupid Artemis. Artemis actually has a spot in my heart as one of my first good units that I summoned in this game. So, I am a, a fan of him. And then the, the animation here, the sprite is amazing. This unit looks insanely cool. Definitely would be summoning for it just because of the cool factor. Damage dealing wise, he's not really that great. He's okay. He can be decent. Uh, but Chizuru is stronger overall, just in general. The Trust Master is really good here. Defense plus 20, HP plus 20, Light Dark Resist by 25. That's a great ring right there. That's a great Trust Mastery. So a decent damage dealer, 4 stars, so you should be getting uh, you know a few of them. Not too hard to get. And then we have Cupid, Luna, 
which again looks amazing so if you were just going on looks this is a banner to go by i mean cuteness summon for sure these units look amazing she's a three star and then she also has an amazing trust mastery she's got one of the best trust masteries in the game especially for you know healers or magic users so mp plus 30 auto refresh light dark resist plus 15 percent great stuff the auto refresh can actually stack on top of each other so you can keep refreshing your mp over and over again filling up your heroes great great unit there overall though that's the only reason that you'd want a cupid luna um nothing great five star max so again you don't even think about five star maxes anymore in the game currently it's all about six stars, but the Trust Master is great here. So, sadly, if they improve their gotcha rates, maybe that might bring back a lot more people. But as of now, I mean, people are going to be spoiled. Fire Emblem Heroes has way better gotcha rates, and it's just newer. It's got that whole fresh, new appeal going on. It is a different game, though, guys. It is a strategy RPG rather than a straight JRPG. Uh, so JRP Japanese RPG strategy RPG is like a chess like game where you're moving around pieces on a board and it's very very I don't want to say deep but it, the learning curve is is steep it's very difficult even for players that are vets of the game um, the PvP is is pretty cool it's not real PvP per se it's you fighting against an opponent's team that's AI controlled. Uh, but with the synergies and the combos that you get with the heroes, really, really tough fights there, and you really have to think things through. It's also really quick and easy to go through, rather than there's no like crazy long exploration missions that you have to do 10, 15 minutes in the exploration missions. So overall, try out Fire Emblem Heroes. I think you will like it. It is free to play, of course. Check it out. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support here with Brave XPS. Good luck, guys, for those that are sticking around with Brave XPS. Have fun. I will talk to you guys later.